Most programs give you the ability to undo your last action or actions, which is great for fixing mistakes or trying something different. And in most programs, the keyboard shortcut for undoing an action is Command-Z or Control-Z on a PC. So if, for example, I delete a clip, I can just press Command-Z to undo that. But what if I wanted to go back to a point five minutes ago or 30 minutes ago? Well, fortunately, Premiere Pro makes this relatively easy by using the history panel. Now, just so you know, you don't have any specific exercise files for this movie because each individual user has his or her own unique activity within the history panel. So just follow along with your own history panel, although it will look different than mine. So I'm going to come over to my project pane and scroll all the way over to the right and click on history. And at the bottom here, it tells me how many undos I have available to me. This is based on how many recent actions I've done. If I've recently opened the project, this number will reset. So accessing your history panel is only as good as the session you've most recently been working in. Now in the history panel, I can see my most recent edits. This one's the most recent. This was the delete that I just did. And the one at the very top is the first action that I did within this session. Now seeing my recent edits helps me in one of two ways. One, perhaps I just need to take a look at my list of actions to refresh my memory on how I got to a certain place. And two, and probably much more likely, is that I actually need to step back in time because something I tried out didn't really work out very well. Maybe I messed things up and got things out of sync, or maybe I just liked the edit the way it was before I tried a bunch of stuff. So all I need to do is simply select the point in time before I made my mistake. So in our case, I recently tried shortening this and I really don't like what I did. So I'm gonna go back up to beyond these trims, beyond these lift and overwrites, up to about right here. And watch the timeline when I click on this. So you notice that it got longer, also several pieces of B-roll rejoined the sequence and a couple of other trims and other changes happened as well. Now you'll notice that everything before this point is white and everything beyond this point is sort of grayed out. However, I can go forward if I want. If this is too far back, I can come down here and click here and it's gonna go forward. So it's sort of back and forward and if I need to go a little bit further, you can see that the changes are happening in the timeline, but also I'm sort of accessing these various points in time. So once I'm happy with where I'm at, I can continue editing just as before. Now one thing to keep in mind, however, is that as soon as I make my first new edit, Everything that happened after my reset will disappear and all of my new edits will start from that point. So take a look here and then I'm gonna make an edit. Okay, so you can see that it was truly a reset and now all of those actions are gone and this delete has taken its place. You can kind of think of it like a parallel timeline that you can't go back and change, sort of back to the future style. So needless to say, the history panel is a really useful tool. Whether you just need to go back and check how you got to where you are, or even more so if you need to jump back in time and access an earlier point of your editing process.